Hey, AB Alive, Fight Club. Red Scarlet X, Da Vinci, Resolve Base, Black Magic Cinema Camera. Uh, it's been a big day coming. We've been sitting on this for quite a while, folks, so sorry for the delay. Uh, but I wanted to do it right. Uh, our videos, as you know, were real concerned about the quality of the uh, information we give. And I have with me Jerry Connect, a Scarlet X user now for the past year, probably have shot a couple hundred hours already on the Scarlet. Oh yeah, if not way more. All right, cool. So very familiar, got a good user, studied the Scarlet, knows it real well. Uh, we're all new to this product here. This is, as you know, there's been some early reviews, Philip Bloom, et cetera, talking about this product. So basically we are going to uh, begin our fight club and we're going to start by the real simple unboxing. What can a, what, what can a, uh, someone can expect getting the camera? So we're going to open up the Black Magic Black Cinema. Magic's up first. Let her up first. In the corner. In the corner. So we're going to see what's going on. So it comes nicely shrink wrapped. Now please note, folks, this is the first gen sensor. This is not the new sensor. As of this filming, we're here in December. This the second gen sensors have not really been fully released yet. So they're still kind of being tested. Nice yeah. box, Thunderbolt enabled, right? Thunderbolt, so that's kind of a nice now, little are feature. Are these shipping currently? Have they? There's been very few of these shipped. I'm holding probably one of the 100th. 100. 100. Yeah, of in the world. Wow. So it's not a whole lot of them. So this is a fairly new product. Uh, comes in a standard box here. We open the box up. Uh, we have a little uh, what appears to be software. So this is new to me. Probably the DaVinci Resolve key, I imagine. Yeah, every every Black Magic camera comes with DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve. Need that. So yes, it comes with. Which that's a bonus. Right, comes with the uh, software and the key, which looks like a standard USB key. Cool. Yep. All right, so there you go. Nice. There you go. All right, so we'll put that out here on the deck here. Okay. Uh, comes with the uh, infamous, which I've grown to hate actually. Black Magic power supply with the universal uh, clip on, depending what country you're in. Oh, really? Yeah, so the power on this is uh, based on, which is kind of cool. They give you all the different ones. So if you're over in Europe or you're in France, in the world of. What's it made out of? Is that plastic? Plastic. That's the only thing I don't like. And I, let me tell you, I've had a few of these go bad. So, tip for folks out there get some extra power supplies. Uh, of course, you'll be out in the field in one day and it won't work and you'll be very upset. So it comes with the standard power supply. And of course, that's going to be for the internal battery that is built into the camera. Now we're going into the box of the camera. Took the top off. Going in here. And wow, this thing is heavy. Wow. This thing is heavy. This thing's got away, folks. I don't know. Five, six pounds, at least seven pounds. Feel that. Yeah. Pretty heavy. Definitely heavier than a DSLR for sure. Yeah, so it's not something you're going to want to hold in your hands per se, right? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, not for a long period not of time. Not for too long periods of time. Right. Not really ergonomic either. It's a box. It's a Literally. box. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Very and, cool. And uh, the, uh, the build feels strong. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's got that kind of Mac chassis, almost like that mm. Mac Tower iMac right. feel, the old iMac, uh, and it's got all its connections on the sides, which we'll get into shortly, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And it's got its SSD drawer on so the side there, which is kind of cool. Right? It uses SSDs as well. Right, Wonderful. right, exactly. So, and then it's got a screen, Very which I'm smooth. already kind of smudging here. So it's got a nice uh, glass screen. It's got your play controls, which is kind of nice. So right off the gate, I already know Fight Club that kind of having a screen and everything built in is kind of a plus. Next item you get, this is a U.S. version, folks. So I'm sure the international versions are very similar. Um, Got ourselves, wow, this is kind of a wetsuit feeling material. Feel that. <laughs> Feels like. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's kind of got that kind of wetsuit. Neck strap. Yeah, that little wetsuit feel for the neck strap. Boy, and I wouldn't want to have that around my neck for too long, though. You know, with no. the weight, right? Then we've got the sunshade, the hood. The hood. So it's surfing that... terms. We've got the wetsuit and we've got the hoodie. And that's for, that's for the, that goes to the back then for the top. Yeah, that's that's for the back. That's, that's not for the front. Nice. So that's that's a positive. That would go connect here, and basically um, connect that way. And folks, 
I think that's all that's in the box here, so that's it. I don't want to break my connection. Wonderful. So that is what you can Black expect. Black magic. Cinema camera. Yeah, cinema camera. Opening up a cinema camera. I'm getting a little audio here, folks. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about the Red Scarlet X now. Right, I'll let you we'll open up that. Now, let me tell you the story behind this so we're on the same page. Okay. Uh, this is the battle tested that they just came out with. So okay. there's a few little features that they had extra in here than the normal Scarlet, but pretty similar to what you would get on a base unit. Okay. And we'll get into that, so I'll let you order, open Basically that. Basically, the, the battle tested Scarlets were used for, I think, like 30 seconds, too. Mm -hmm. And they just, I think one company used them for one shoot and then they were all done didn't need them anymore so they released them out to the public for a much cheaper price so let's see what is inside the box before we open up the box actually um, when it gets shipped to you you are given um these two accessories one is the mm -hmm. side uh, plate right here for the um side cover just if you want to remove the ssd module the thing about the scarlet is everything is very modular so it can build outwards upwards in any different way so this is part of just the base for the brain. It also gives you an AC power strip cord. Um, we can open this up if you'd like. Sure. I should have probably bought a knife or something. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to get this open with my bare hands. I'll do it for you. But It'll be a man. I do have this. Um, it is plastic, but it's very strong. It's a little... Oh, yeah, you're it's right. It's got a Walmart oh, wow. plastic for sure. All right. Well... But they're very... I told you it's kind of tough. I'll use the uh, black Make magic utility knife here. <laughs> Can I but, punch you know, a hole through it? I will move forward a little bit. Um, comes in a square box, very nice packaging, almost a rubber texture. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Just flip this around here, and simple as this. You get the shot. Just opens out and up. Very sleek. Ooh, I like Look that. Look at that. Look at that. How that's and there right in there. Fits right in there. Very nice. All right. You can actually buy the um, red case. And it comes in a big hard case cube with the same foam packaging. And I've actually cut this out and moved it into a Pelican case as well. So it's good to keep keep uh, your hands on this foam. Okay. They also have cutouts for the SSD module and um, any black back plate modules. But let's take a look. Okay. Comes right on out. And here is the Scarlet. Interesting. First thing to notice, it is very heavy. Now that currently, as of December here, that's what a ten thousand dollar price point. Is that correct? Price with ten. Yes, 000? it's. Uh, I think, believe, even lower than that now. Maybe okay. nine. Okay. But definitely within the ten thousand dollar range. All right. So we're but at ten thousand dollars versus approximately three thousand dollars for this. Three thousand so dollars. All right. Be clear. Okay. Well, right out of the box, I can tell you it's definitely is way heavier than your normal um, DSLR camera. Um, comparatively, I. Don't know the exact well, weight amount, but we should get a little scale. They're actually pretty similar in weight. Yeah, I didn't holding them both. I, they're very similar, very very close. Mm -hmm. um, this is a little more compact. Mm -hmm. um, it's very small, but it comes very bare. There's nothing much to it. Um, once you get it out of the box, as you can see, this is the um, one of the very basic um, Scarlet packages. This comes with the side. SSD module where you can insert your um, SSD mag right right into the side. It also comes with the Canon lens mount here. This one is, which is um, aluminum. You aluminum, can get that's the aluminum, right? you can get um, the titanium titanium mm -hmm. for PL and Canon, and I think they even have stuff for Nikon and who knows what else they're going to come out with. So even Leica. So yeah. there's it's very this is all very modular. Very modular. Lots of options available when you. Get the Scarlet, and even the Epic is the Epic is very similar to this. It is the brother camera to the sister Scarlet, but um, just looking at it, and I know this one, it comes with no buttons, barely any buttons. You have the power button, which is on the side, um, red. It's also your record button, and then you have another record button in the front of the SSD module. Um, your EVF LCD out, and um, some user presets you can set on the side. And then other than that, there are no other buttons to this thing. So in order to use this, it is actually not capable to be used just straight out of the box, which is, I think, very right. important. Right, so Fight Club can theoretically use out of the box. Of course, both need lenses. Both need lenses. Right. But 
this includes the screen with the mm -hmm. controls. So until we power it up, but in theory, well, we got our full control mm -hmm. here versus this needs what? This, as you can see, there is no screen either. There's no way to view anything straight out of this basic setup. Um, so one of the things you're going to need to purchase is one, obviously, either an EVF or LCD of some sort to view um, as a monitor your footage, but also you need either the red creates the five inch, or I believe they even have seven to nine now, um, touch screen LCDs. To power it and run it through its course, To right? run through the menus. Right. Red releases a, or has access to a touch screen menu screen that basically you can go through all the capabilities of the Scarlet and the Epic um, through that function. But other than the um, touch screen, they also have the side SSD module that sort of mounts right to the side here, if you want to get a shot of it. Um, very easy to mount on and take off. But, um, so would that be in addition to this side SSD? Yes. So you'll be is... able to have two SSDs. Oh, no, actually, I, I apologize. I said that wrong. It is not an SSD mo module. It is just a side handle. Side handle. Okay. Side handle. Please excuse me. But um, one thing about, another issue about this is it needs power. Right. It comes with the AC power, which we got out of the bag here. Right. Um, but it's a standard brick, by the way. You know, it's the yield power yeah, brick. Right. Very power, and very durable. But it needs other forms of power. There, there is no way to put a battery into just the brain. You either need to put a battery back on, which is another module that all the modules move back or on the sides. Right. So um, you would either need to get a battery back or some sort of plate to attach, you know, an Anton Bauer V-mount v -mount battery or red bricks. But also, Red's um, new batteries um, are not red bricks. I forget the exact name of them. But they're small. They're, uh, they're a little larger than what your Canon batteries would look like. And they would actually go into your side module, which is a handle that comes on the side here and actually makes it more ergonomical, you know, obviously this is still a box, it's just a rectangle, mm -hmm. and it would make it more like uh, a DSLR camera that you're familiar to, and you put these batteries in when we look the out, side. When we look at the built-out RED that you're running, what do you have? Where do you I run? currently, um, I have a wooden camera battery backplate, um, as well as a Switchtronics um, battery back okay. that um, connects just V-mount battery straight in and then runs into um, the DCN under in the bottom of the camera. But um, again, there are many connectors. This, the whole point about the, the RED um, is they want everything to be obsolete. They want you to be able to non build up. Non-obsolete, right, non-obsolete. Right. Non-obsolete, yes, sorry. Man, I'm just twisting my words today. <laughs> but um, non-obsolete. Basically, everything is modular. You want to be able to build up, build out, and grow at your own pace as mm -hmm. to what you need. So, so we'll call it the RED ecosystem for a yes, minute. Yes, like a better description. RED ecosystem. Which can get very pricey. I've seen some of these things built out, even though this is a, quote, $10,000 model. Mm -hmm. I've seen these things based at, built out twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. Well, this is, this is a digital stills and motions camera. Right. This is industry standard right now. So. Well, it is the one that people compare themselves with, of course, Back to Black Magic for a minute. Mm -hmm. the, they're the first person nipping at the heels. Now, in our Fight Club, obviously the modu modularity of this is a plus, but it's also a minus. Because right. for the casual user, someone kind of playing with digital film, it's not ready to use out of the, out of the right. gate. Again, both will need lenses. Both we'll need lenses. Into, both need lenses. Um, this came with the side SSD, which is good. This came right. with the side SSD, which is good. Which is built in. But the big plus is, again, having the monitor and the touch controls here versus not having any here. Mm -hmm. So that's another, from what I know, three or $4,000 add-on. Right, it's about 2500 for the 5-inch touch right. screen. So, so you got that add-on. So now we're at 12000 before we even started shooting, never mind the lenses. And then, uh, of course, uh, you know any other module or things we would want. Um, Real quick on this, again, this is new to us, is we've got the remote switch, which looks like a standard LAN port. Uh, Here, can you very see that similar. Yep. We've got our headphone jack, which is a standard eighth inch. Okay. We've got our audio in, which is quarter inch, which is okay, because that could be a balance connector, yeah, and we'll know a little bit more about that. Uh, you can do a quarter balance. We've got SDI out, which we're gonna look at, see what that really does. We've got Thunderbolt, which to me is huge. This is a big advantage. Again, I know we're 2.5K versus 4K, but right. having the Thunderbolt control and having the ability to record 
directly via Thunderbolt, I think is pretty cool. I mm. think that's a very nice option. And then, of course, we have the power, which, again, this has a built-in battery, lithium-ion built-in battery that's rechargeable. And the early tests out in the field say it's only running about two and a half hours. So. Oh, wow. But there are, again, an add-on ecosystem beginning to happen with the cinema camera that people are creating additional modules. In fact, we'll have some here really? shortly to look at. So it'll yeah, be interesting two, to see what happens with two that. Two hours is not long enough. No, it's not. And uh, that would be a problem. So again, in theory, if I was a serious field shooter, I might want to have two or three of these you know, charged up, running mm -hmm. in a loop, just in order to be able to handle that out in the field, you know, not be out of the camera juice, you know, especially right. if we're in a yeah. remote location. And of course, then it looks like we have a usable record Really? So that's kind of neat. You know, you that's can interesting. Record right there. That's and, for sure. Uh, so basically, that's it. Was there any more in the box here? No, nope, other than that. That's it. That's, that's all they gave you. That's as simple as that. So, Just, uh, so again, I think that's a good recap. Deal. Fight Club. Uh, I'm going to say on what you get out of the box, I have to give, and if you're honest with me, you'll have to give the cinema camera the win on this just because of the screen. Right. Would you, would you give it that? I, I, I mean, I would give it that much, but you have to... Comparatively, you have to look at, I mean, both of these cameras are tools. Right, they're tools. They're exactly. tools, and they are used for different purposes. Exactly. So, in that different way, I mean, going to purchase this, you'll have to go in purchasing something else as well. Well, you're, you're much seriously committed financially to the RED ecosystem. This could be taken as a casual ecosystem. Let's talk about its benefits. Well, we, we know that. We're going to get into that further down the line in the video. But I'm just thinking, if I want to play with a film-like environment, I got to give the win to the cinema camera. Right. If you are not used to, if you are more used to coming right out of the box and shooting and going, then um, the Blackmagic camera is definitely going to win on that fight club. On that fight club All right. for sure. So we have we have consensus. <laughs> fight club out of the box cinema camera. Hey, part two coming next.